Yo, bitch, what is going on? You already know what it is. What did I do? What did I just do? I'll show you what I did. Give me a second. I'll show you what I just did. That is what I did. That's righty, bitch. Understand this. All right? Listen. What I just did. What did I just do? I just finished Sly Cooper and Theus Raccoonus. And I just got a platinum on it. I shit you not. I got it right here. Let me pull it up. Just for evidence, bitch. But yeah, I got the platinum. And it really got me thinking about the series. Because I was playing Arkham Origins. And I was getting my ass handed to me pretty badly in the, in the challenges and the campaigns. So I'm like, I should probably take a breather. And like, not play this for a little bit. And play something else. So I started playing Sly, Sly Cooper. It's just there. It's just there. So I'm like, I should play it. Why the fuck not? You know? Like, why wouldn't I? Right? And maybe that's a different type of genre. Maybe like float. Maybe like uh, make it fresh or some shit. You know, if you do the same thing again and again, it, you know, starts to clog your brain and shit like that. So I decided to play Sly Cooper. And it just reminded me of the time when the very first time I played Sly Cooper it was back in, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, okay, here, look, check it out. That's right, Rich. 100%. So, you know, I've been a trophy hunter for a while now because uh, I don't have anything better to do with my life at the moment. Uh, so I just kind of, you know, I get 100% on these games. So as I was playing this game, it really got me thinking, you know, also while the rivalry we'll here, look at that. Thieves in Time also 100%, which if I'm about to mention right now is um, the main reason which got me thinking. Because I remember when was the last time we got an actual Sly Cooper game? You know, it's actually been like a long time, hasn't it? You know, like the last game that came out was Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. That was in 2014. And it, it, remember, it reminds me of like a perfect time when I, when, I very, when the very first time I played the game. I was in Target. And this is when Target was still like a thing in Canada. Because no longer a thing here in Canada. Uh, so back in 2014, 2015. I don't know when it started being discontinued. I think around that time, around 2015, 2016. Target just vamoosed from Canada. And it was no longer in Canada. So I remember I was walking one day uh, in Target. And then obviously, I, I, I natural instinct, I go to the the gaming section you know uh there were skylanders there there were other shit there there was like uh some other stuff you know at the time and there there was a ps vita uh i'm not sure if it was exactly this model but i think it was uh it was a ps vita right i hacked this by the way it was a ps vita and it was a demo it, it, it had sly cooper thieves in time uh it had the demo going on so i played the first level and i'm like instantly i'm like hold on i gotta get this game and so I remember that was the very first game I ever bought alongside, I think, the Amazing Spider-Man game for PS3, um, the Transformers Fall of Cybertron game, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. It was the very first game, so this goes way back. And if I'm actually going to check when the very first time I got this, because I can check in the, in the, what do you call it? 20, okay, hold on, wait. Thieves in Time, that is 2015. Wow, the very first, uh, the very first um trophy i got was 2015 so yeah you can tell this is literally a while back this is a long time ago wow yeah 2015 was when i when i played sly cooper thieves in time and uh you know after playing sly one it just takes me back and i'm like wow dude what the fuck man where the hell is the series and now i have to ask the question what happened to sly cooper right this was the shit it was the holy trinity of platformer games in the in the 90s at least right the early 2000s it was sly cooper Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. Now, see, Ratchet and Clank is still relative, relative, relevant, dumbass, and it, it's so relevant. In fact, it even has a movie, right? You can't beat that once you got on that level. It has a movie. It has a new game. It got a new game for PS4. It has a new game for PS5, Rift Apart. So as you see, uh, Ratchet and Clank has a shit ton of games for PS2 and PS3 era remasters and everything. It has a fucking movie, right? You can't go better than that. So Ratchet and Clank out of those three has totally skyrocketed, leaving those two in the dust. Now Ratchet and Clank is still somewhat relevant. I say more relevant than Sly Cooper because at least it got the love of getting remasters, right? It has remastered on PS3 and PS4. Right, including Jack X Racing, which is also remastered. So at least you can play on the, on the newer generations, right? You can play Jack and Daxter on your PS5. Because if it's PS4, it's PS5. You know what I'm saying? But Sly Cooper, these in time, the only remaster I got was for the PS3, and that was like God knows how long ago, right? And um, it really makes you sad, you know? And we, we legit left off of Thieves in Time. I still remember the story and stuff. We left it on a cliffhanger. Sly was down. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Sly was down. He crash landed somewhere. And then he's in Egypt. And after playing Sly 1, I realized, oh, this has to be a Sly 10 common, right? His ancestor. 
And I'm like, what the fuck ever happened? And then, you know, as as we get to Devious Raccoon since Sly 1, I say, oh my god, Ryuichi, you played as him. Tennessee, you played as him. No mention of the caveman guy or the, the, the knight. I forgot his name. Um, but, like, dude, what the fuck? Right? We were legit left on a perfect setup. And it's so perfect. Think about it. Sly 5 for PS5. Am I the only one who thinks that? Like, come on, man. What the fuck? Right? Sure, Jack and Daxter didn't get a new game, right? Because, like, Ratchet and Clank not only didn't get a remaster, but got a new new title as well. Right? But Jack and Daxter didn't get that, but that doesn't matter. Right? They got remastered. You can see, you can still enjoy it on the newer uh, consoles. You know, but Sly Cooper has been in the dust for a while now. Right? We, we didn't hear nothing. Last time, last time, the last game that came out was literally in 2014, bro. It's been years since we got a new Sly Cooper game. And it really pisses me off because, like, you know, this was my childhood. I played this way back when and I... And I really wish for it to make a comeback somehow, you know? Like, I don't know how, but I don't know, dude. It's just tough, you know? Seeing your favorite game franchise just plummet. But all hope is not lost because, you know, the era of video games that we are in, it's like, um, what do you call it? The era of remasters, right? People are trying to relive the glory days of when video games were, like, you know, new and innovative and not just carbon copies of other stuff. I mean, it was, like, original, Right? Um, so that's why remasters have been going through the roof in the video game franchises uh, nowadays. In the video game industry in general, right? People thrive off of remasters, you know? So a Sly Cooper remaster or possibly... Honestly, I don't want a remaster, to be honest. I mean, if you could for the PS4 and the PS5, sure. You know, like a, a port at least, that'd be great. But I want a new title. Because it wouldn't make sense to, to end the franchise on this. We literally have a perfect setup, right? He landed in Egypt... What the fuck's gonna happen now? You know, we need to know what, what the biggest cliffhanger. You just can't end it like that. You know what I'm saying? It really, it really bugs me. Give me, give us at least one more game to end the Sly Cooper pentology, right? Well, uh, you know, I finished Sly One. That was, I finished it like in a couple of days. I'm pretty sure I started like two days ago. I finished it like that. Yeah, wow, that was easy. Although the the, the mini games were kind of a pain in the ass, but we, we did it, right? You know, nothing we can't handle. Yeah gonna move on to slide two and whatever you know it's like everything better to do but yeah i just kind of had to make this video to let you know that what the fuck is going on with this shit i really want slide to make a comeback i really want him to come back dude we need him now and it's perfect slide five for ps5 it it's perfect it's perfect it was perfect all right but we don't know if they're ever gonna do that all right i don't know if sony's ever gonna do that you know they're, they're focused on their big blockbuster titles like god of war and and horizon zero dawn and everything else you know, the, the big names, you know, but what about bringing an older name to the new generation, right? I, I don't think anyone's going to agree, uh, disagree with that, you know, like it's going to be fun. And Sly Cooper is a fun, it's a fun franchise, right? And um, I'm sure it was many people's childhood, including mine, except, you know, people actually played it back when it came out. I played it years later and I played the fourth title first. So, you know, it was a little different, but I still enjoyed every single second of it because it just, and whatever I think about it, it just takes me back, you know, to uh, when times were a lot more simpler and, you know. Whatever happened, huh? Shit. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Where the fuck is Sly? Bring him back. Finish Sly 1. Gonna move on to Sly 2, then 3, and then replay 4 again. I wish I had a game cap, otherwise I would record it. But I don't have it right now. I'm gonna have to work towards it eventually. I think I'm getting an HD60 maybe. Um, not just for the PS3, but also for PS4. Because 720 is great, but come on, you can do better. You know, you can always be thinner, look better. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for tonight. I mean... Today, wherever the fuck you're watching this, and I'm out.